decision making in that time what really went into it like um were... well it was a couple things i was confident with uh with where i was and at that point in my career um i was very confident and comfortable with where we had kind of situated ourselves financially yeah. um i was also confident that i was making the right decision yeah um and then i also just wanted to make a basketball decision but also be a little selfish too because yeah. it was the first time in my life that i made a decision that was totally centered on david yeah like people don't realize like san antonio was my favorite team growing up tim duncan's tim duncan's player. my favorite player like i literally idolized that organization you know every everything about it like you know sort of my philosophical mind when it comes to basketball is centered around like my childhood and watching the Spurs and watching David Robinson and Tim Duncan and all that stuff. So the opportunity to go there was a selfish one. As soon as we lost in the playoffs. Did you know you were, you were going to go to State? Yeah, I knew I was going to State. Because, <laughs> so I mean, it, it, Bob, Bob reached out while I was on the bus. I, I, and I joke with him all the time about that. Yeah. He's like, man, you're going to get me in trouble. But, like, literally, because they wanted me to come there the year before, but I'm like, I, I, I'm going to the Spurs. Yeah. So then when they reached out, I was like, okay, we'll, we'll give it a run because – you know, at that time, they needed what I could, what I could provide. Like yeah. they needed some, some veteran leadership. They needed um, a steady locker room presence, and then they needed somebody who could still be productive on the floor um, in spots. And so I was able to to fill my role there, you know, well. But um, you know, very rarely uh, do you want to get yourself in a position where you have to make a decision based on financial implications. Like, and I always pride myself on not having to get to that point. It's always good to have that, have that feeling of, you know, people respected what you did, uh, respected the way you carried yourself. And, uh, you know, I tell you all the time, I, I got in and out of the league unblemished, you know, was able to get in and get out and remain intact. And, um, you know, that's something that, um, like I said, when I, when I mentioned it to you years ago, long term, those are the things that you want to be, you know, you want to have as a part of your legacy.